and the exhibition number and cool. We attended the Apples event at Julian's Auctions in Beverly Hills. This private collection of 500 computers and Apple products spanned over 40 years. Each Julian's auction includes a public exhibition which anyone can attend, and on the last day, we just so happened to catch the auctioneers in action. And before we knew it, we were seated in the gallery and enrolled as bidder. I really wanted a Y2K color iMac, so let's see how that worked out. We're pulled over right now, watching the auction, trying to see when ours pops up. Oh! Oh my god! We're on our way to pick up the G3. Let's go. The following week, we headed back to Beverly Hills to pick up our G3 and bring it home. Auction winners have the option to ship an item to themselves or to do local pickup. The staff was really friendly and the whole process only took about five minutes to load the car. Julian's also gave me this cute tote bag and a matching pen just as a thank you. I also got to take home my exhibition card and the catalog from the day of the auction. So in this box right here is the Apple iMac G3 that we won from Julian's auction house in Beverly Hills. This isn't the original box. This is just the one they packed and shipped my lot in. Um, it's actually a later iMac, but you'll see our lot that we won is number 437. Here's the details of the auction house and it's all packed up for us to unbox. This G3 was part of their exhibition called The Apples, which was a 500 item catalog of a private collection of Apple Macintosh that went to market. And we were fortunate enough to get this piece and I can't wait to get it set up. We specifically got this unit because it came with the original keyboard and mouse. And what's really cool about when you win an auction here is they give you the lot tag and the exhibition number and plaque that's up when it's exhibited. Let's go frame that. <laughs> So if you're asking yourself, should I get into auctions? Should I attend one? Should I try it? Is it scary? I say do it. You never know what you're gonna bring home. Cool.